What do you want? Oh, Barbara, but it's been years since we haven't talked. Come on. Oh, now you want to talk. After eight years of divorce, now you want to talk? I don't think so, buddy. <sighs> of all the men you've been with, I thought I would be your favorite. Whatever happened in the good old days? Come on, Barbara, don't you miss me? Oh, Ted, please. You were never home. Never. Because of you, I had to be strong to these cinnamon sticks. Do you know how long I've been smoking these? I can't even take it no more. At least I'm with a better man now. Someone who's not like you. Where were you all the time when I was taking care of the kids, lounging about with your friends? Did you ever say I love you after we were married? I don't think so. Oh, come on, Barbara. That was the past. Look at us now. I mean, you're married to a gym instructor now. A very old gym instructor, you see, if you tell me. And look at me. I have a wonderful family looking after me, unlike you. At least I have a home. Look at you. You're still living with your son. If I were him, I'd put you in a retirement home this instant. Timmy, darling, I gotta go. Hank's waiting me for the car. But please, do me a favor and just turn him away. Please, if you want to do something easy, you gotta do it now. For God's sake, son, I don't know why you invited that wicked woman to visit us. She hates me. She and that retired husband of hers hates me. They hate me now, and they'll hate me forever. You hear me, sonny boy?